Cass Williams here, and joining me is Helen Stanley. Um, me and Helen, we play in a couple of bands together, Rumbelows and uh, the Spacey Asteroid Deluxe, and uh, also super. Helen's own band, The Sounds of Ursa, that you should check out because it's super cool. Uh, but the reason Helen is joining me is because we're going to investigate this new piano app from E Instruments. Now, this is called Pure Upright. We've just listened to it there in its kind of pure yes. sort of default setting there at the top there. But um, this is the follow-on from Pure Piano, and we were uh, we were fortunate enough to make a video about Pure Piano, and this is sponsored content, so we're really happy about that. So thanks, E Instruments. Uh, e Instruments have been around for quite a long time now, and are one of the leading sampled instrument makers in the world, and uh, I think the quality of this app really attests yeah. to that as well. On the back of here, I'm using uh, a pair of um, Yamaha BT-01 Bluetooth uh, adapters here to send MIDI into the phone, and then just the typical app. Apple Clagnet there is just coming out to, to give us the audio. So it's kind of pretty straightforward, you know, um, and we're using a complete complete control S88 here for the master keyboard. There are a few updates which apply to Pure Piano as well regarding like the morph pad and you can now move around where the morph sections are. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, more about blend. that. That yeah, blend the thing. Blending. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's a big part of this app, and we're going to be looking at that now. So the thing that gets me, though, first, though, is why on earth would you want an upright piano? Sure, I mean, <laughs> why? I mean, if you've got a lovely grand piano, why would you want, why would you want like, a, like an upright? What's the, what's the deal? You see, it's a downgrade. But it's a completely different instrument. Different instrument. All right, they're both pianos. Yeah. I can't argue with that. But yeah. they're very, very different. Mm -hmm. So the physicalities of uprights are much shorter strings than mm. your grand piano. Yeah, yeah much. So yeah. Um, you have a, a very grand sound, sound, as the grand piano suggests. Mm -hmm. But also, it's much more intimate the upright right so it has a lot of great roles for like an intimate sound okay also the, the harp is a lot shorter so if you think about your sort of parlor uprights they're this sort of height and that's really going to be the size of your harp you can get some quite tall uprights I don't know if you've seen some mm. ridiculously <laughs> tall ones yeah. that's somewhere in between maybe then in your baby grand mm -hmm. so You've got, you know, they're very different sounding. The pedals as well, right. significantly different. So ah, the okay. way in which a soft pedal works mm -hmm. on an upright is completely different from a grand. Oh, that's interesting. So again, it gives you different, different sound, sound quality. Mm. Um, I think also we've got to talk about the history of the instrument as well, because if you think yeah. about the uprights, typically Victorian time, yeah. your typical sort of upright it, pianos. In your, in your parlor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. I mean, of course, you see, a grand piano is going to be uh, for concerts and for projecting the sound out to the audience. An upright piano is going to be up against the wall, giving you immediate sound and filling the room behind you. Exactly. So it's almost yeah. got like a different. Yeah. A, a totally yeah. different. I mean, projection. even grand pianos in a sort of domestic setting, you're going to want a big room to put it in because these are big things. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so it's a completely different, and also the sound board of the grand piano as well. So all the sounds going away from you, hmm. whereas in an upright, it's, it's all, all coming, coming at you. Yeah. 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 So when you said about intimate, then you are you, the, the strings, and your it, it's it's only a short distance, whereas the grand piano, the sound is further over there. Yeah. yeah. So I suppose that lends itself to that intimacy. And then of course, when you start thinking about these older uprights people are falling in love with all the imperfections right so that's part of it so when you think yeah. of a grand piano you're really striving for perfection mm -hmm. really in the same way that a concert uh, yeah you don't orchestra. want a shonky you don't want a shonky grand piano <laughs> yeah. do you, yeah, you don't. <laughs> but like a shonky I mean, I'm upright sure they exist, but, right. but not no yeah. that's quite the opposite but yeah. people are falling in love with the, all the imperfections mm, the character character um and this has become very fashionable mm. actually uh, among a lot of contemporary composers okay. examples uh Joe Epp Bevin, right. uh, Oliver Arnold did right. a whole album of looking for sort of pianos of characters. Yeah. Um, Aphex Twin did it oh. way back in the day with his, his childhood upright oh, piano. Oh, his childhood upright piano. And he did piano. some prepared piano stuff with that too. Okay. But yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, okay, I think we should probably actually have a few audio examples then. Yes. So, so we're saying then um, intimate then. I think that's probably a good starting place. So. On the morph pad, I mean, we can go, if you just sort of just play a chord with it in the standard sound here, just without changing it. 
okay, and now we can then move to the intimate setting. You kind of hear it change. Yeah, it's sort of it. like, yeah. So then play that yeah. same chord. Okay, yeah. When you're hearing more of the kind of, yeah, you can kind of hear the mechanics more. Um, that is a new feature as well. You can actually now adjust the level of the mechanical sounds, the, the clunking, pedal. the pedal sounds. And so that's an adjustable feature. And that, that's the same true of uh, pure piano. Uh, but no, let's all listen to this. Yeah, I'm desperate to make yeah. it. But... <laughs> You wouldn't think that was a sample piano. That would, no, that would definitely pass us. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so that was intimate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, so yeah. So I guess the opposite of intimate then, and I, I imagine when I'm thinking about um, upright piano, I'm kind of thinking like rock and roll, and yeah. I'm yeah. more of a kind of cutting, more of a bright sort of yeah, sound. Yeah. So you get that percussive sound definitely from that mm. right, and it's really good at that. I think also again that you don't want a big large space to get a percussive yeah. sound because it's going to get lost. Yeah, and also if, yeah, you, if you're so. using it with rock and roll instruments, drums, bass, guitar or whatever, you know, it maybe a, it needs to cut and you don't necessarily need all of that extra sort of resonance and sustain that a grand piano would bring you. So, I mean, if we were to find like a kind of bright setting yeah, using that morph pad. Bright is. And, um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, so like, a, like, yeah, like a jazzy bluesy type thing. Okay. Like it's almost like like almost like a guitar like yeah sort of uh, yeah that kind of yeah and dead dead yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what you really want you know you're not gonna get that off a grand piano are I you? mean it would be quite good in kind of like a pop rock kind of mm. setting as well am I kind of like yeah 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 so uh, yeah it's gonna sit right in the mix more or less straight away, isn't it? Those characteristics are right, you know. Okay, that's it, it's really cool. So, um, so like, we were talking about character, and then yeah. the fact, I suppose, that was quite nice with the morph pad there. I mean, if you want to, you can go into the EQ and get in a little bit more surgical, but being able just to kind of have a little sort of smooth, smooch around. The look interface at the is super user right. friendly, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You don't need, to, it's not menus. You, no. You literally, you know, using your ears. I mean, we covered all of this mm -hmm. in, our, in, in our other video. Yeah, pure piano. Yeah, um, so maybe check that one out if you want to see it in more detail. Um, but with this one, now um, morph then to the vintage sound yeah so that was one that was quite characterful yeah. and also um, there's a setting called detune oh, which right. I think a lot of people might automatically think oh that's the honky tonk like but no mm. it's in that lovely detune we're talking about that characters yeah. pianos again you know great auntie Mabel's upright <laughs> which is you can't quite get it into tune because you probably snap the harp if you try to yeah. you know um and it's done beautifully so we might maybe just go yeah well, well those play two. a little play a little and then morph into the other one if you can and then we can So, yeah, it's it's not that kind of overly kind of detuned, but it sounds very authentic. Yeah. Apart from the character of the, the different morph 
areas you can go in and sort of play around with some of the settings and uh, actually one of the new features and again this is in pure piano is the ability to adjust the mechanics like the the the, the key sound and how much pedal noise there is should we just demonstrate that yeah it's particularly good on the on the key noise actually because again referencing you know some of those great arm Mabel's upright. Right, you know. they're going to be quite clattering. <laughs> well, maybe, they? yeah. So, um, so if I put the key noise all the way up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can really hear the clunking. But of course, that then you can adjust to taste. Bring it down a little. Let's see what pedal noise. Yeah. So as the pedal's coming off. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And of course, you know, you can save your preset as you'd expect, but now a new feature is the fact that you can actually share your presets with your friends. So when you dial in that perfect sound, uh, you can share it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, like, let's just like, let's just focus on some of the other new features at the moment, because I think there's some pretty cool things. Um, one of which then is the ability now. That, so we've looked at this morph pad where you can kind of blend between uh, and you find where the different morph zones are, uh, and then you can smoothly move. Let's just just do a just just do a little blend between two of the sounds. Um, any particular? Any sound will do. Cinematic and reverse. Yeah. yeah? So if you want to just sort of, so you can hear. That. So okay, being able to morph to between. Your... So now you can change the location of those morph zones. Again, this is true of the latest <laughs> version of Pure Piano 2. Should we just do that then? So Yes, there's a little pencil icon. Pencil icon. Shows you where you've got all your different points. Yeah. And then you can move to swap them around. So mm. let's maybe swap the, uh, the gate. Let's put the gate over there where Intimate was. Okay, let's have, a look, let's have a look at that. Yeah, so just by simply moving that around and then finding a morph point between it, it's just found a brand yeah. new sound. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then um, another of the features which I think is pretty cool if you're going to use this in any synchronized way is that the delay can now be tempo synced, which is super cool. Uh, so if you're uh, if you're running it with any kind of MIDI there, that MIDI it'll, the, the delay will sync to time. And again, that's in Pure Piano too. Yeah. Let's try something a bit more experimental then because that's another aspect of the pure piano that's quite uh, the pure upright is quite Come nice then. yeah that's, i'm gonna get <laughs> get in on the action we can say experimental we've all got right. you in there haven't we cool. all right so let's maybe go between what like the pad and reverse or something? yeah So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Helen. Check out our other video if you want to see some of the other details. The, the apps are more or less the same functionality wise, but, uh, but as we've discovered, entirely different sounding, completely different character. And character being the buzzword, I think, for this particular yeah. app. Yeah, imperfect character. Yeah, a bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Uh, okay, thanks everyone. We'll see you in a video soon. Thanks and, very uh, much. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs>